right, to be in the house of Yahweh and Amen. to be a child of Yahweh. Hallelujah. And uh, to be here with the brethren tonight broadcasting to you. There's no one else in the world I'd rather be with. Amen. Um, and I know that tonight. I know it and understand it more than ever. Yeah. Amen. Uh, that, that, it, that it's good yes. and pleasant yes. to dwell together in unity with yes. Yahweh's people. Hallelujah. I want to thank Hallelujah. Yahweh for Apostle Harvey Washington, a true apostle Amen. in these last and evil days yes, with the gift of the word of wisdom. Yes. That's right. And we need that. And uh, I'm thankful to be part of, of the ministry that Yahweh has given him and to be a partaker of his grace. Amen. I'm very thankful of the favor that we don't deserve that has been uh, shed upon his people in this generation. We do not deserve this grace, but, but Yahweh has uh, poured it out and uh, he, he poured it out in the Bible days. He did it in the past with uh, he chose men. And uh, not just his son, but especially his son, the Messiah, Yeshua, Amen. whom we owe everything to. Hallelujah. But he, he was with men through since creation. Yes. Amen. And since the fall of man into sin, he's been with men and he's chosen certain vessels yes, and uh, used them. Yes, and Apostle Harvey Washington it was, is one of those men. In, these, in this generation, these last and the evil days. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> the Bible yes. says that the Messiah came at the end of time. Yes. Amen. You know, and, and if, if that was the end, then this is getting close to the very end. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right. And you can look around. You can see the signs of the times. That's right. They're just everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you've been tuning in, of course, you, you saints of God have been tuning in. Yes. But if you're new to uh, watching our broadcast, if you've been tuning in during the last week, we've been broadcasting every day of the week. Yes. Amen. And you may have heard us talk about right. the fact that Yahweh still has uh, prophets yes. and dreams Hallelujah. and visions uh, that he pours out yes. to his prophets and prophetesses. In the church Amen. of the Lord Yeshua, the Anointed One, Hallelujah. Amen. And, and we are all blessed to be part of that. Amen. And Amen. we've been seeing days like this come. Yes. We've been hearing about it. We've been warned about it yes. over and over and over again. Hallelujah. We've been warned about times and things that have not yet come to pass upon the United States. Amen. We've been hearing about wars. Uh -huh. yeah. Warning about times where we may not even be able to drink the water because right. of nuclear war. Right. Yes. That's Amen. right. But we've been warned yes, sir. to walk right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if we walk right, Amen. then we will be protected. Yeah. That's right. and, and I'm thankful for that. Thank you, Father. And, 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 and it puts a totally different perspective on life whenever you know that uh you know the good old days hallelujah aren't going to last forever and being born in 76 you know that uh, i think it was the bicentennial uh you know i was a 1976 bicentennial baby and it was all american flags and fireworks and sparklers and and God bless the yeah. USA. Amen. All my childhood. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, especially a lot of patriotism in the great state of Texas that I was uh, born and raised. And everybody has always been hooping and hollering, as they say here in Texas. Yes. Amen. About how God is with America. Yes. Um, but that just... That that's only on the surface. Amen. If you uh, if you look a little deeper at the conduct of the citizens of the United States of America and the whole world right now, Amen. We have fallen so far, Amen. So far, that's right. From what the Messiah called His church to, Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, yes. The God of the Old Testament. Is the same God of the New Testament. Amen. That's right. Yes. 
when he sent his son and brought in the new covenant, the New Testament, things changed. They were made better. The perfect thing came. Hallelujah. But that didn't change our God. Amen. He doesn't change. And so what you read about in your Bible, that one that you have at your house, Hallelujah. you may never have opened it. You might have got a nice one with flowers and leather and you might have got your name put on it. I know all about that because that was the life I grew up in. That was the way I was reared up. I was brought up to have a form of godliness and say we loved Jesus and that we believed that he died for us on the cross yeah, to save us. Yeah, but we did not do That's right. what he taught us to do. Oh, and amen. we grew up that way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, Hallelujah. we're so far from him oh, yes. mm-hmm. in all of our ways. Yes, That's right. I grew up just as worldly as you can get. Yes. I had a couple of good morals. Amen. And I thought they were going to carry me all the way. But uh, whenever I came to this church, I was invited. Mm -hmm. I heard the truth. And then I realized that everything that I had grown up believing was was false because I I, I wasn't told the truth about the Messiah. I wasn't told the truth about. What he really came and did. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And, and, and uh, reading in the scriptures in, uh, in Romans 10, I, I read about the Apostle Paul. Yeah. The Apostle Paul was a Jew. Yeah. And he, 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 he kept the law. Yeah. He, he, he kept it better than most. Yeah. Amen. He was zealous about it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I was zealous about what I thought was right before I came to the knowledge of the truth. Of course, Paul being in uh, the faith of the Jews, which was the true faith. Amen. Amen. They served the true God while all the other nations served the false God. Um, But but uh, they had gone astray as well. Yes, sir. Amen. The Jews didn't really know what the Messiah was going to be like. Amen. Exactly. No. Amen. They they had the scriptures, but there was a a veil yeah. over their eyes, yes. and they couldn't fully see Hallelujah. until he actually came, and then they 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 rejected him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Just like many of us have have come to the church. Or we've been told that there's a God that we should serve mm-hmm. and that he had a son who died for us and he was holy and perfect and that we should seek after him yes. and we should be like him. Yes. We should love him and we should serve him. Yes. We've been told that all our lives. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. But we rejected him. Yes, we did. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. 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 So, so we're in the same shoes today. That everybody else that you read about in the Bible who rejected the Lord, right. if you don't walk like him, and I'm talking about Yeshua Messiah, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. that man yes. Hallelujah. against whom we're all going to be judged. That's right. Amen. That's right. On that last day, we're we're gonna, if we're not right, we're gonna stand before a great white throne. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And there's not any gonna be anything to say. That's right. Because we're going to have our flesh off the problem Amen. is our flesh. Yeah. Right. And we're going to be standing before our maker. That's right. And we're going to be speechless. Amen. Because we're going to know that we were wrong. Right. We're going to know that we should have served yeah. our God. Yeah. Amen. And that we should have taken advantage in a good way. Yes. What he did Hallelujah. to make a way for Amen. our salvation. Amen. Praise Amen. Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. We will know on that day. Amen. That's why we persuade men the way that we do. That's why we beg. And that's why we plead with men while they still have breath in their lungs. And while they still have blood running through their veins. That today is the day of salvation. Now is the time. Amen. To put away our wicked ways and start being serious. Yes, yes, yes. God gave us two ears. Yes. He's given us two eyes. Amen. 
And you know that you have seen enough to believe that there's a God. And you know that you've heard enough to where you even have. uh, 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 You have heard enough to where you've heard enough to go in the direction in which you should go. Hallelujah. And you're hearing tonight the truth, the gospel, because you will never come to Yahweh unless uh, uh, Yahweh sends somebody to you. Amen. Or he 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 somehow brings you to the church. Yes, that's right. That's the only way you're ever going to hear this thing. That's right. Amen. Now I'm talk. Uh, we're used to just having the congregation here. Um, sometimes people watch our service, right, right? But for the most part, we speak to the congregation. But now we have an opportunity right. to speak to the world. Amen. We have a captive, yeah. sheltered in place yes. audience. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have a scared audience. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And fear yeah. for anybody who's ever been to jail mm-hmm. is a motivator. Yes, it is. Fear will make you consider. Fear will make you pay attention. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I hope I have everybody's attention tonight as we go into Romans 10. And that's not where we're going to end up because the spirit is in control. Let the spirit have its way, Yahweh. Amen. Thank you, Father Yahweh, in Yeshua's name. Read. Yes, Lord. Romans 10 and 1. Yes. Brethren. Brethren. My heart's desire. My heart's desire. And prayer to God for Israel is. My prayer to God for Israel is. That they might be saved. See, that's my prayer tonight. Amen. Amen. Father Yahweh. Yes. And see, not just Israel. Uh Hallelujah. See, Paul was concerned with Israel because those were his people. Right. Those were Yahweh's chosen people by which the Messiah came. And so they were an important people. And he he was explaining in this uh, teaching letter to the Romans, you know, uh, how salvation is working with the Jews and the Gentiles. But he was letting them know, look, my heart's desire. I still want these Israelites to be saved. Yes. Why? Because they rejected the Messiah. Uh That's right. Yes, Lord. I come from a house and a family and a neighborhood in a city. That has rejected the Lord. And you have to look super hard for a good example. Amen. And it's been that way for a long time. Hallelujah. Amen. In this country. It's been that way for a mighty long time. Amen. Yes, it is. Glory. Lord. But I want everyone to be saved. Amen. And that's why it is important. For me to speak this message because I know the truth and I'm not going to hide this thing. Hallelujah. The light, the candle will not be hidden. If I hide this thing, your blood will be on my hand. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. And I'm not going to let that happen. Oh, yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. There's a lot of people in this congregation who whose family members will not serve the Lord. Right. They just won't do it. Oh, man. Amen. And it's sad. Yes, yes, it is. yes, it is. Because we ourselves are in the flesh, they have a hard time even seeing the good that's in us. Yes. Amen. We're, we're doing right. We're doing well. Uh-huh. Coming to church, hearing the word. Right. Every day shedding off more of the ways of the flesh yes, and of the devil. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. And yet they still want to continue to point at the things that they still find fault in us in. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Which there is no condemnation. Mm -hmm. But while they're so focused on the things they think we still need to change. Right. They themselves won't even take a baby step to change. Amen. Glory. Of course, there are some with honest and true hearts yeah. who won't be so focused on their neighbor. Amen. But they have enough sense when they heard the word and the word explained perfectly. Work out your own salvation. Right. And quit focusing on your neighbor. Amen. 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 There are those of us in the church today who still haven't learned. Yeah. Right. How to focus on yourself. Amen. And not your neighbor. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. You'll never be yeah. saved. That's right. Amen. If you keep Amen. that mentality, saints, yes. you'll never be saved. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory. 
we got to we got to realize that this is a save yourself situation. Amen. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your brother may leave the church. Your sister may leave the church. Your mother and father, your grandparents may leave the church. Your children may leave the church. They may take your grandchildren with them and leave the church. That's right. Hallelujah. And you can't do a thing about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Except for rejoice and give Yahweh thanks and praise. Amen. That he counted you worthy to be partakers of this divine nature and to inherit eternal life. Hallelujah. And Yahweh is a jealous God and he expects you. He expects you to rise above your condition. Hallelujah. Amen. He doesn't expect you to sit around weeping. Yes, that's right. We will go, we're going to weep sometimes. But we can't spend the majority of our time and shine a light. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. Amen. This thing is all about encouraging your brother man as they yes. say yes. Yes. your brother and your sister needs encouragement yes. amen and you live for them yes. Hallelujah. your wife and your children husband need encouragement and you live for them yes. right amen. your parents may not know about this way Amen. They need to know how happy you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They need to see it on Hallelujah. you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got to be strong. We got to get in tune with the spirit. Amen. We need to be right there. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. 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 Read on. Brethren. Yes. My heart's desire mm -hmm. and prayer to God for Israel is yes. that you might be saved. That they might be saved. For I bear them record. I bear them record. That they have a zeal of God. Uh huh. But not according to knowledge. So that's where where we come in, saints. Amen. Amen. If there's anybody out there that you want saved, yes. yes. There's only one way that you can help them. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's by being fully obedient. Oh, yeah. That's to right. everything that you've been taught. Amen. Amen. Fully obedient. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Search your Bible. Search it. Yes, Lord. Yahweh, 99 and a half is not going to do. No, not going to work. We look out and see the condition of the world. That's right. They need you to stand up yes. and be strong. Yes. Oh, yes. They need you to have faith. Right. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yesterday on the job, because of this whole uh, coronavirus thing, That's right. everybody's wearing their gloves and they got their masks on and stuff like that. This one lady, uh, this one guy was decked out in the mask and the gloves and stuff. And the one other man walked by and he's and the one guy was saying to the other, they were crossing. One, this one person didn't have anything on. And this one person had on the mask and the gloves. And uh, the guy with the mask on, he's like, better safe than sorry, right? To this other guy. And the, guy, the other guy says, well, here, the thing about it is 85% of the stuff that you're going to get is going to go through your eyes. So you need to go put some goggles on. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy with the mask and with the gloves was 85% less protected yeah. than he thought he was. <laughs> These people are not protected. Not at all. There's only one thing that's going to protect us, saints. Yes, that's right. And that's saints, right. I'm saying saints because you that's saints. Right. Amen. Amen. You're going to get this virus. Mm -hmm. Don't play around with it and try to joke around about it. Right. Yes. You're going to get it. Yes, Hallelujah. You're going to get it unless you are, are being true. Amen. That's right. You're being true to your God and will pass over you. Right. But Amen. you're going to get it yes. if you keep playing around with your God like you've been doing. Right. Amen. Right. Yes, Lord. Let's go over to Luke. Yes, Amen. 
I got so many things I want to say. Praise God, I got a little extra time to say. Amen. But it's very important, saints, that we get our minds where it needs to be. Amen. I want to go to Luke 17 and verse 11. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass. It came to pass. As he went to Jerusalem. As he went to Jerusalem. That he passed through the midst of Samaria. So Yeshua went, was going on his way to Jerusalem. He passed through Samaria and Galilee. Yes. Read. And as he entered into a certain village. Uh-huh. There met him ten men. Ten men. That were lepers. That were lepers. Which stood afar off. Uh-huh. And they lifted up their voices. Uh-huh. And said, Yeshua, Master, have mercy on us. Uh huh. And when he had saw them, he said unto them, Yes. Go show yourselves unto the priests. Read. And it came to pass that as, as they went, they were cleansed. They were what? Cleansed. Yes. See, the God that we serve has the power to cleanse. Amen. Yes. The nastiest disease. Yes, Lord. We don't have any fear. Right. Yesterday, a lady came up to me and she was, uh, she was in a different department on, on my job. Uh, and she uh, she had some paperwork that went to her department on accident, but everybody's afraid to touch the mail. Mm -hmm. So yeah. she had on her mask right. and her gloves oh, yeah. and she came up to me and she said, Mike, uh, here's some uh, this. This is a, I think this is some kind of application. It came to the wrong department and her another lady was there. They were all. Barely holding on to it. They got their latex gloves on and stuff like that. And uh, they were wanting to know where the mail area was because it had been moved around. And I said, I'll take it. She said, oh, you better not. <laughs> oh, you better not. Amen. But see, I'm being built up Amen. in the Messiah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Because I'm hearing the word of God. Daily. Yeah, yeah, right. Amen. Being taught by somebody like Apostle Harvey Washington. Some of you probably would have, re have read the Bible in the past and said, if I just had a Paul, then maybe I could be a right. Timothy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, right. You know, in our hearts, when we read the Bible, we all come to conclusions. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not like you read something as powerful as the Holy Scriptures right. and Amen. no thoughts come to your mind. Hallelujah. Amen. In your mind, you said, if only I had... The Lord, if I was alive in his days, if only I was a yes. disciple of the Messiah. But nowadays, there's so many people and you don't know. They're all teaching different things. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. That's right. If only I had Paul here or Peter, yes. then I, maybe I could be a Mark or a Timothy. And then uh -huh. I'd be able to follow. Yes. Right. Well, I'm telling you right now, you're never going to go back to the days of Yahshua, the Messiah. You're never going to get that opportunity to go in a time machine Amen. back to Peter and yes. back to Paul. So you... Might as well accept the fact that that you need to stop daydreaming about time machines. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You need to realize that you're alive, feet firmly yes. in the here and now. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Yahweh. And on that day of judgment, God is going to say, "Why didn't you do something?" Yes. Yes. With what I gave you, uh -huh. I gave you life. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I gave you all your senses. Right. I gave you legs to run to the truth. Amen. Amen. What did you do? Yeah. You wasted your whole life. Yes, That's Lord. right. Yes. You're, you're 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, scared of the coronavirus because it said that it takes out the old people. Uh -huh. yeah. Now you're scared to death. Right. But still won't do anything. Amen. Still won't get serious. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Because That's right. you know you like your smoking. Right. You know you like your cussing. Yeah. You know Amen. you just want to be lazy yeah. and you don't want to come to church. Right. Well, I'm telling yeah. you right now, the only reason why I have the faith yeah. that I have yeah. is because I decided yeah. when I was 20 years old yeah. that I wasn't going to give in to laziness. Yeah. And that was one of my biggest trials. Yeah. One of my I biggest really trials was to be lazy. Yeah. Amen. One of the biggest reasons I wanted to leave the church, yeah. I've been in this faith for 23 years. Amen. But the biggest, one of the biggest reasons is because I'm a lazy person. Amen. Yes, I don't like getting dressed in church clothes. Amen. 
I don't like having to go somewhere all the time. Amen. I like to have a free schedule. I want my schedule free. I don't want anybody telling me I got to go do things because I'm lazy and I don't want to go do things. Amen. And I don't want to think about anybody else but myself because I am selfish and lazy. That's Mike. Pre-being born again and taught of the Lord. But for 23 years, I've been coming to church service. I've been reading my Bible. Amen. I've been hearing the gospel preached yeah. and my understanding slowly but surely is coming more and more open. Amen. And I, at first I didn't understand much, but he promised that his Holy Ghost, yes. Yes. which I received, uh -huh. would lead his whole church That's right. through the preaching of the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, Amen. through that teaching Amen. that it would lead us and guide the whole entire church into all truth. And yeah. he promised that if we would consider what he would say, that Yahweh, our God, would Amen. give us understanding. Amen. And I, I, I said, I'm going to let all of his promises be yes and amen. 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 Glory. And that I was going to believe this report. Hallelujah. And it's kept me. It has made me and all those that will do the same to be the wisest people on the planet. Yes. Amen. Amen. I don't care if we're high school dropouts and uh, we can't get certain jobs because we don't qualify because they think we're not smart. Right. We're the wisest people on the planet. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Yes, Lord. We're protected yes, Lord. Under, under, under the wing of the Lord. Yes. Amen. When everyone else has no peace, right. That's right. we Amen. have peace. That's Amen. right. So because of my decision, to put myself to the side. Oh, yeah. Put away my laziness. Yes, Lord. Yes, put away my fornication. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people are so horny yeah. that they can't be trusted. Yeah. That's right. They will lie to your face uh -huh. and say, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Uh -huh. They'll lie to their parents. Yeah. Or you're going to go do this? Yes, I'm going straight there. Uh -huh. Lie to their parents. Yeah. Right. Going somewhere else to meet up with somebody to sleep with. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I promise I'm not going to uh, commit fornication. Uh -huh. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. They'll yeah. lie straight to your face. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's right. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I used to be like that. Uh -huh. I would lie to my mom at the drop of a hat. There didn't have to be a hat. And it didn't have to drop. I would just lie. I would lie, 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 lie all the time to my mom. Because my mom didn't want me smoking cigarettes. But I wanted to. So I lied. My mom didn't want me smoking pot. But I liked it. So I lied. My mom didn't want me getting drunk like my dad. So I lied. My whole life was a lie. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I would steal things and just show up with stuff at the house. If she were to ask me where I got that stuff, uh -huh. Satan instantly yeah. gave me a lie. Yeah. Another lie. I was a practicer of lying. I was good at it. When you practice things, it, it gets perfect in you. And you get good at lying about everything. Amen. But whenever I came and heard this gospel, and I heard the truth about how much God loved me. Amen. Amen. I was born a racist. Yes, sir. I heard it all the time in my little podunk country town I grew up in. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Right. Putting down black people. Yes. Putting down Hispanic people. Yes. Amen. It was crazy how racism works. Oh, yeah. Even when you don't want to be one, you were raised one. Yeah. Amen. And so whenever you even dare to want to even think about liking somebody who's not the same color as you, you, you actually make friends with people, but deep down in your heart, you're still a racist. Right. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Satan has plant he he plants these evil things Amen. in people. Amen. Yeah, that's right. right. Amen. Yes, Lord. You can be in church for 10, 15, 20 years and still have a root of racism in you. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. With prejudice, stereotyping. Yes, right. Lord. Hallelujah. Right. In your head, you're like, well, you know how they are. Uh -huh. right. yeah. yep. And you don't realize it's not just in your head. No. Amen. Right. Nothing in your head stays just no. in your head. That's right. It all comes out a little here, a little there, That's right. a hint of this, a hint of that. It shows yeah. up in places. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that's why you got to kill it. Amen. Kill it dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Yahweh. The church teaches us how to get rid of all evil out of our lives. Amen. We can't be protected from this virus That's right. unless we get all the sin out of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Saints of Arlington, Saints of Lubbock. Yes. Mother Connie and Sinton. Amen. We've been preaching to you for years now. Yes. Begging, Hallelujah. pleading, yes. Amen. tarrying with you, Amen. having long patience, oh, yeah. Amen. and we've been praying. Oh, yeah. Y'all were commanded to pray for us. Yes, Have you been? Mm -hmm. We've been praying for you, yeah. and we say, Yahweh, sometimes they don't want to obey. Yes, Can Amen. you help us out? Yes. Hallelujah. You're the one with all the power. Yes. And he said, don't worry, I got something coming at the end of February. <laughs> I got something coming in March. Yes. Amen. I cooked up something in China. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. At the end of 2019. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, and Lord. whenever it gets to you, uh -huh. it will be right on time. Amen. Amen. Yes, the Bible says that the sinners in Zion yes. are afraid. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not afraid when that lady said, here's the application. I said, let me have it. She said, oh, you better not. <laughs> I said, ma'am, I have absolutely no fear That's of right. this disease. Amen. And I, I said it yeah. with so much power, she handed it to me. She answered <laughs> Amen. I have this power because I increase in power daily. Yes. Because I'm daily connected. Amen. I'm not trying to boast myself. That's right. The man I am today is not the man I was yesterday. Amen. Yahweh is working out my salvation today. This life I live today, I got up this morning around six. And ever since then, Yahweh has been on my mind. The devil has come here and there throughout the day today. But I'm practicing what I've been taught in the church. And every thought that comes to my mind, every experience that I experienced today, every scripture I took out time to read, Amen. Every every um everything that I have done, every song that I chose to listen to today, Hallelujah. Every prayer I prayed, all my meditation, the Holy Ghost was all in it. Amen. I'm stronger. At 7.34 p.m. And better at 7.34 p.m. than I was at 6 o'clock a.m. Amen. Amen. Because Yahweh promises to strengthen us. Hallelujah. Glory. Yahweh promises to make us better every day. Yes. Amen. Because he's going to give us what we need. You think that daily bread is just bread? <laughs> he's going to give us everything we need every single day. And he's going to lead us yeah. and guide us. Yeah. We're going to go from strength to strength. Amen. Hey. Now, those of you who don't listen in the church and don't pay attention are at ease. Yes. You get weaker every day. Amen. 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 That's right. the, the obedient ones get more blessed and you're just getting more cursed. Right. Hallelujah. It's getting so bad that you want to blame the church. Amen. That's right. right. Amen. You want to give up Hallelujah. every day. Give up. Give up. I won't lie to you. The devil comes to me with reasons oh, yes. to disobey. Oh, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Surely. Yes, Lord. Reasons of what I could get away with if I wasn't here. Uh, Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Yes, but I'm thanking God that every single day. Yahweh has given me all the armor I need to fight off the Amen. wicked one. Hallelujah. Every Amen. single day. Glory. Amen. Every Amen. single day. Amen. But read on about this. Yes, Lord. What happened? And they lifted up their voices uh -huh. and said, Yeshua, 
Uh -huh. Master, have mercy on us. Uh huh. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priest. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. See, all you got to do is do what the master says. Uh -huh. Amen. That's what that means. Yeah. Amen. Yahweh sent his son that we may have life and I life do. and more abundantly. Yes, Amen. Lord. The, the, the healing that the Messiah has for us, it's all representing healing us to be saved. Amen. It, it's, it's really more about saving us for the life to come. He's able to heal us to Hallelujah. be perfect. Yes, it, it, Amen. Whether you're a leper or not mm -hmm. is not actually that important. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But whether you are fully obedient, yes, he will use every uh, famine. Uh -huh. If you're not obedient, Yahweh is the kind of God who says, I got all power in my hands. Amen. Right, right, right. Hallelujah. You, you'll turn to me when I take your food away. Yes. Oh, yeah. You will turn to me when I take right. your water away. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. And if you just you just you just, your conscience is just seared with a hot iron and uh -huh. you're never going to do right? Oh yeah. Yahweh will kill you. That's yes. Right. For the righteous sake. Right. Amen. So that they don't have to put up with having to see your evil deeds. Amen. Amen. Right. Yes, Lord. Now for a fool, this is doing nothing for a fool. Right. This message is doing nothing for a fool. Amen. Right. Amen. But for a fool that wants to not be a fool anymore. Right. right. This message can do something because yeah. we were all fools. Amen. But Amen. a fool that is at least smart enough, that at least have has enough sense. Oh, yeah. right. Amen. I always say, <clears throat> you're smart if you know how dumb you are. <laughs> Some people don't know how dumb they are. That's the worst kind of dumb. But if you have enough sense to know that you need the Savior. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. And, and, and you have enough sense yes. to put some energy uh, amen. into serving Him. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. That's all it takes, friends. Yes. That's all it takes, all of you that are watching. That's all it takes. Amen. All you got to do. You, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You just got to know that your way doesn't work. Amen. And you got to be yeah. honest enough to see how wicked the world is right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. I, 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 somebody had the TV on yesterday and mm -hmm. up up pops. The Hollywood's still trying to act like everything's all yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. Now, you know, these are probably reruns yeah. right. <laughs> because everybody's hiding in their house. Right. Because yeah. right. they are afraid of dying. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. There she is up on one of these stupid Hollywood shows talking about, you know, how the rich people and the movie stars live. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Lopez. And of course, they're going to try to uh, show all of her different outfits. And Lord, mm -hmm. I had to turn my eyes. It was so wicked. Amen. Amen. Everybody in this world right now is all these women are Jezebels. Yes, that's right. Amen. 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 Before I came to church, I would have said, mm, yum, yum, eat them up. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wrote her, I would have wrote her a letter and say, thank you. Yeah. Never change. <laughs> Amen. Because I was bad. I was a pervert. But, and and, and I, yeah. anything that was bad, I rejoiced. I was glad when they were bad. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> now... I have the eyes of the Messiah. I say, what a wicked, yeah. wicked, godless generation. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It has enough nerve That's to right. dress that way. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And now I think about all of those women I took advantage of before I came to church yes. Yes. and tried to seduce yes. them. Yes. Yes, sir. And, and now I have a daughter. Hallelujah. And I think about my daughter. And realize that all of those women had a father. Uh -huh. yes. I wasn't caring about them. I wasn't caring about their feelings. I didn't care about anything back then. Because I, 
It wasn't in my interest to think that hard. Right. Right. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise, Praise Yahweh. Yahweh. But Yeshua is able to heal. That's right. Amen. And he's going to heal some sinners. Yes, Lord. That's right. Doctors are going to take credit. Yeah. Right. False prophets are going to take credit. Amen. 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 But what does it say? And it came to pass mm -hmm. that as they went, they were cleansed. They were cleansed. And one of them, yes, when he saw that he was healed, uh -huh. turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. One out of the ten. Yes. One out of the ten. One. Glorified God. Turned back. Turn back and with a loud voice, with a loud voice, glorify God. Read and fell down on his face uh -huh. and his feet, uh -huh. giving him thanks. Uh -huh. And he was a Samaritan. See, a Samaritan. See, in those yes. days, the Samaritan people were the people that the Israelites thought were lower than dirt. Right. right. Yeah. Amen. 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 This church is full of people that were the, the low ones. Yes. Right, Lord. That everybody thought was nothing. Well, Yahweh says, I need to help the rest of the world feel like they're nothing. Uh huh. I got to bring them down. Yes, Lord. See, I know why I came to this church. Amen. Because I had been brought down. If I had not been depressed, I was suffering from depression. Amen. If I had not gotten sick from using drugs, if 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 uh, if women would have liked me a whole lot more, yes, sir. you know what I'm saying? Yes. Women lined up. Amen. Some people got them lined up. Mm -hmm. Or some people see with me, I couldn't get in a relationship that would work. Yes, Lord. It never worked. Now, Amen. if I would have found somebody who worshipped the ground I walked on and was like a super ultra good looking and uh, just couldn't get enough of me and like, you know, chances are I would have stayed out in the world. Yes. Yes. Yahweh brought me down so low with those three things. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's why I was ripe and ready for Yahweh to plug me. Yes. Hallelujah. And you and, and, and make me be I, I, I'm so thankful that he looked inside of me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm so thankful. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I look out in the church, Amen. I see a whole bunch of people who are just like me. Yes. Hallelujah. The only people that are in this way yes. are the ones that Yahweh brought down. Oh, yeah. Amen. There's hope for you. Yes. Yes. yes, Lord Yahweh. Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. Read on. And one fell down on his face uh -huh. at his feet, uh -huh. giving him thanks. See, lepers were outcasts. Yes. yes. They had to live on the outskirts of the city. Yes. Right. They had to yell people 10 feet, 10 feet like they're doing nowadays uh -huh. with this coronavirus. They, Amen. They had to wear something saying unclean. Yeah. Right. Yes. Stay away from me. Yes. Amen. Even we all, we were unclean in Yahweh's eyes. Yes. Right. But he's cleansed us up. Amen. Now we need to start obeying. Hallelujah. Amen. We that are in the church every day is a day where we're supposed to grow in grace. Amen. Grow in knowledge. Hallelujah. Because this world needs brighter lights and we need to shine brighter. Yes. Amen. Amen. We've got to we, we got to allow this coronavirus be a test for us yes. to our alleged yeah. belief in this way. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, it's putting us to the test. That's right. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. It's not time to be cutting up with everybody and trying to blow this thing off. Right. Because that's what they want to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now we can be kind. Yeah. We can be nice. But Amen. we need to work on the issues that we have. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to be honest with ourselves. Amen. How bright of a light am I shining? Hallelujah. Yes, Yahweh. How serious am I? Because Amen. Apostle Washington is serious. Yes. Amen. It's people like Apostle Washington that makes me slow down 
and want to be more like him because I'm convinced that he follows the Messiah. Hallelujah. And that he knows how to be serious because it's time to win some souls. Amen. Yes. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, Yahweh. Amen. Let's all look at him a little bit closer, saints. Yes, Amen. Amen. Every day I get up and I strive and, and I think about him Hallelujah. and how he does. Yes, Yahweh. And, and in my conversations, I'm, I'm trying to uh, not play around like I used to. Amen. Amen. And I'm succeeding. Yes, yes. Yahweh is giving me strength that I never knew I could have. Amen. He's teaching me how to be more like him. But he's using the apostle. Praise Yahweh. Amen. I'm looking to him. Yes, Lord Yahweh. If Paul was here, I'd be looking at Paul. Amen. Peter was here, I'd be looking at Peter. Yes, sir. And Yahweh gets praise from that. Yes, yes. Amen. Yahweh is, is happy. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey. We're fulfilling the scripture where it says, Mark the perfect, perfect man. Hey. Behold the upright. Hey. Because hey. the end of that man is peace. Hey. Oh, yeah. And you, you don't have peace. Oh, yeah. Amen. Unless you're marking the yeah. perfect man. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Amen. Hey. Amen. Now let, let, let's let skip on down. No, go ahead and read, but read fast. Amen. And one fell down on his feet, on, on, on his face at his feet, uh -huh. giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Yeshua answered and said, mm -hmm. Were there not ten cleansed? Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Where are the nine? They are not found that return to give glory to God. So that that to, Amen. that represents everything I've ever seen in the church. That's right. About how so many people have been in these doors, but one out of ten is here. Right. Amen. Amen. Everybody else ran off. Yes, Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Yep. They thought Hallelujah. They, they counted. They counted this thing uh -huh. as being nothing. Right. right. Hallelujah. All of our family members that are that that come in here that we still want to cling on to that Amen. we still want to say, well, they still have good qualities. Uh -huh. Maybe they've backslid uh -huh. from here. Maybe they've they've never been part of it, but they visited, but they rejected it. Right. Yeah. Amen. We still want to hold on to them and hold on to them and hold on to them. Mm -hmm. We got to learn how to give it to Yahweh. Amen. Right. Trying to hold on to the things of the world, including our family. Hallelujah. He that loveth father, mother, yes. brother, sister. Yes. Even his own self more, more than, than me. me. Yes. Hallelujah. Can't be my disciple. Cannot be. Hallelujah. Cannot be my disciple. Amen. Amen. Glory. I love my mama so much. I love her so much and I want her to be saved, but she is not going to be drawn to this this place if I try to if I try to hold on to me. Yes, yes that's right. right. Man. Yes, Lord. If I hold on to me, she's going to be comforted by the me that she sees in me. Right. But if I if I throw me in the trash can and lay hold of Messiah Yeshua and Amen. take on him and then what she sees is him and me. Yes. There will be more hope for her. Amen. Amen. In the end, it's going to be up to that person to make that choice that you made. Right. Yes. The question is, are they low enough? Mm -hmm. right. Have they brought down? Have they been brought down low enough? Amen. Amen. I was brought down low enough and I'm here. Yes. 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 The Messiah made a promise to us that he would do what was best for us. Amen. Yes. And when we come into this way and we believe and we stay and we do what is right, we, we, but we get weak again later, he, 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 he curses things in our lives so that we can be brought back down again, so that we can remember our first love, so that we can remember when we were first brought to the light and illuminated. He helps us. He made a covenant with us. Hey, in his son Yeshua Messiah hey. that he would pour out his spirit on, onto us and lead us and guide us because yeah. right. he knows if we're not ready on the day of our death it was all in vain Amen. but we can't hold on to him Amen. our family right. our old friends right. it's so funny Yahweh brought this to my attention today he said you remember how Whenever uh, you were, were a drug addict and they put you in the rehab 
and you had to go to AA and they told you that you needed to get rid of your, of your old friends and you said, I'll never do that. And, and, and then Yahweh said, but when you came to my church and my preacher told you you need to get rid of all your old friends, you said, okay. Yeah. And, and I did it. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Yes, Lord. I don't have old friends' phone numbers. I don't keep in contact with old buddies. They don't want to talk to me. Amen. When they found out what I was all about, my words to them was, hey, I, I became part of this church. They taught me what was right. I said, we got to be holy. Amen. And they're like, oh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> and they never called me back. Later. They never came back over. Amen. Why you got sinners around you all the time? Amen. That's the question. Yeah. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I got rid of those friends. Yeah. I got rid of them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I did what I told AA I would never do. That's right. Amen. Glory. That's right. And you want to know why? Apostle Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Prophet Standifer. Yeah. Pastor Jenkins. Hallelujah. Pastor Bibbs. Hallelujah. Those men were good examples for me. Amen. Hallelujah. I didn't have any good examples in AA. Right. Right. That's right. That's that's Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah. But it's not anonymous anymore. You know that I used to be in it. I wasn't in it for long because they told me that I could make a, a, a styrofoam cup be my higher power. I said, this is baloney. I'd rather smoke weed and get drunk than continue listening to you telling me to make the styrofoam cup my higher power. I'm out. They were not, none of them were respectable. None of them were, were people that I could follow and pattern after. Amen. But whenever I came to the church, yes. oh, we all looked for fault. Uh -huh. And you better believe I was looking. I, I may have told you I'm not, but I was. I was looking. Let's see. Were well, you going to mess up? You going to be mean? You going to be ugly? You going to be hateful? You going to do something wrong? Uh -huh. Are you going to do something that the Bible says not to do? I'm looking. I'm reading. Let me read. And I'm telling you, they didn't do anything wrong. Amen. They walked in the spirit. Hallelujah. They showed me a perfect example. That's why I was able to say, okay, okay, get rid of all my friends. Okay. Because I saw them and I was like, these people are doing right. Evidently what they're doing works. I got to be part of this thing and not do it halfway. I got to be in this thing to win this thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But some of us have been going very slow uh -huh. for a very long time. Yes. Amen. Amen. And we need to learn how to do what the scripture says. It says lay aside every weight. Every weight. Yes. And the sin which does so easily beset you. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, sometimes our loved ones can be such a strong influence on us mm -hmm. that we dim our light. Yes. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you right now. All the saints in the church over the last 23 years, mm -hmm. the Bible says we gain experience right. when we stay in the faith. Right. Amen. The people in the church that are the weakest are the ones who try to hold on to their families. Oh, yeah. Amen. Right. Yes, Lord. And everybody who's strong in the spirit lets their family go. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's, that's right. Yeah. And then if they have family in the church, they're thankful. Right. Yes. If their family members leave the church, they say, Amen. well, they must they must be an anti-Messiah. Right. Uh -huh. They must not love the Lord. Yeah, right. I'm going to keep on serving him. Yeah. I'm going to keep on smiling for my brother and sister that is still in the faith. Yeah. I'll talk to Yahweh about it, about my loved ones that aren't here. Lord, keep doing what you're doing. Amen. Right. Amen. Every now and then you're going to shed a tear. You're going to shed some tears because you care. But it's not going to be the way you conduct yourself the majority of the time. Amen. But what we don't realize, a lot of our sorrows are self-inflicted. That's right. The Spirit is telling you, you need to be around the holy people. Amen. 
Don't hang on to anything that's going to keep you away from the holy people. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, Yahweh. Whenever I heard this gospel, I said, there's not going to be anything that's going to keep me from coming to church. That's right. Amen. Right. So until I got a car, I, I called every service and made sure I had a ride. Yes. Amen. Yes, you did. Amen. I didn't skip Amen. a beat because I'd never seen anything that was this worth. It had this much worth. I truly saw this thing as having more worth than silver or gold or pearls. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Read on. And Yeshua answering said, uh -huh. Were there not ten cleans? Uh -huh. But where are the nine? Uh -huh. There are not found that rejoice, that they return to give glory to God. Save this stranger. Yes. And he said unto him, mm -hmm. Arise. Arise. Go thy way. Go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Yes. And when he was the uh, demanded of the Pharisees, mm -hmm. when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said. See, these hypocrites, they wanted to know about when the kingdom of God was going to come. Amen. Amen. All, all, all these people that always question us about why we do what we do in church. Amen. Most of them are our families. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. A lot of them are people we work with. Yes. Amen. They always want to find fault in what they they were. They, these people weren't asking any of their questions for the right reason. And the Messiah saw straight past it. Right. Amen. But these people get angry and upset with us all the time and try to give us grief. Hallelujah. That's only Satan. It's not them. That's why the Messiah had to pray for these people and say, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. They really don't realize that it is Satan that has Amen. pitted them against the righteous. Hallelujah. Amen. But they said they, 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 they said um, uh, they demanded the, the Pharisees demanded when when yeah. the kingdom of God going to come. And he answered and said, the kingdom of God come of not with observation. Uh huh. Neither shall they say, Lo here uh -huh. or lo there. Yes. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Read. And he said unto the disciples, uh -huh. The days will come when you shall desire to, to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and he shall not see it. So they look at us just like they didn't even realize that the Messiah himself was standing in front of them while they were asking the question. Amen. And the kingdom of God was right in front of them. Oh, yeah. Amen. They didn't even see it. Right. Our family members who criticize us and won't be part of this way, they don't even see. those The people in this church that have backslid and left the church, they're anti-Messiahs. Yes. Amen. They didn't, they, don't, they didn't even know that they were, they didn't even know that they were in the kingdom. Right. If they knew they were in the kingdom, they never would have left. That's right. Hallelujah. Who Amen. would leave? That's right. The kingdom of God. That's right. Amen. Who would leave? Hallelujah. The blind. Yes. They're not. It says it's coming without observation. Our family members, the people we work with, yes. the people that have left this way, they don't realize that this was best for them and this was the kingdom of God. That's right. Amen. This is the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so happy in the faith. Yes, man. Whenever I look at these young brothers, they used to show so many signs that they were going to leave as soon as they turned 18. Mm -hmm. Right. We got brother DJ in here, 20 years old. Amen. Birthday was yesterday. That's right. right. Or was it the day before? Thursday. It was Thursday. Amen. He just turned 20 years old. Uh -huh. He's yeah. still in the faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Young Ezekiel working the camera. Yes, sir. Amen. You can look in his eyes. He has no plan. That's right. I'm departing from this place. Amen. But there was a time, even though he's a very young man, oh, yeah. you could see it all in his eyes that the young man did not realize this was the kingdom. Amen. And see, so you can't make people's eyes come open. No, 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 not at all. They're either wise or they're fools. Right. Amen. And you cannot Amen. make a fool love the Lord. Right. Amen. They just won't. Amen. Right. So we need to go ahead and quit trying to work things out, trying to make people love the Lord, right. trying to make them. Right. You're going to spend your tithing and offering on them, trying to make them love the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to be doing things you don't need to do. That's right. right. Yes, Lord. That's right. Well, I, I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable, so I'm not going to share this with them. 
That's what they need. Yes, Amen. Share with them the things that will be uncomfortable. Hallelujah. Yes, Share with them how that you're happy whether they serve Yahweh or not. Amen. Amen. Share with them that you're going on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, no matter what they do. Amen. Share that with them. Yes, Amen. Yes, Yahweh. Yes, Father Yahweh. Hallelujah. Share with them the prayer that you really pray for them. Yes. Amen. Let them know. Look, I love you. But whenever I pray for you, I ask Yahweh to keep on doing whatever he's got to do to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't. It's time to stop holding back. Yes. Be wise. There's a time and a season for all things. Amen. But those of us that are weak in this faith, we need to shine our light brighter for these people. Yes, Lord. Yes, Yahweh. Glory. Yes, Yahweh. But read on. And they shall say to you, see here mm -hmm. or see there. Yes. Go not after them nor follow them. Yes. For as the lightning that lighteneth out of the one part under heaven, uh -huh. shineth unto the other, other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. Yes. But first must he suffer many things mm -hmm. and be rejected of this generation. So we're going to have to be rejected of this generation also. Yes, Amen. Amen. You can't stop Yahweh's plagues and his his pestilences from coming. Amen. They're going to come. Yes. Things are going to get worse. Amen. That's right. Because mankind is getting worse. Yes. Amen. Let's get rid of this dream world that we're going to have a heaven on earth. Hallelujah. It's not going to happen. Yes, Lord. But for the saints, when we have our minds right, it feels like heaven on earth. Oh, yeah. right. Amen. Amen. I'm more happy today than I've ever been in my entire life. Hallelujah. And I'm so thankful for that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But read on. And as it was in the days of Noah. As it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be also in the days of the son of man. See, it's, it's been like that. Whenever the Messiah, um, <clears throat> the Messiah, he, he came to, to this place. Amen. He did everything that God sent him to do. Right. To make a way of salvation for us. Yes, sir. Right? Amen. Okay. Well, he said that there was going to be sorrows. Yes. Amen. That were going to take place. Yes, Lord. Right. Blood, fire, vapor of smoke, yes. earthquakes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Plagues. Yes, sir. You know, we Apostle Washington was preaching. He talked about there's a going to be a, a prophet prophesied going to be great dearth. Right. That's whenever you're lacking everything. Lacking everything, yeah. Amen. No food, right. no Amen. water, Amen. no stuff because right. nothing's growing. Right. Amen. Amen. Bad things happening everywhere. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Just to snap the people out of their high mind. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. And hoping right. that in these last enabled days there will be a few more harvests right. yes. of souls. Amen. Yeah. Right. Amen. The Spirit is crying out to you right now. Hallelujah. Your church is a false church if it doesn't have apostles, right. prophets, Amen. evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Your church is not teaching the truth about God if they don't even call him by his name, Yahweh. Amen. Hallelujah. And the most important names. Under heaven yes. and above heaven. Yes. Right. The name of God, Yahweh, and the name of his son, Yeshua, yes. which Amen. means Yahweh Amen. is salvation. Yes. Yes. That's right. And if your church doesn't teach that, it's not teaching the truth. That's Amen. Right. That's, right. That's right. Hallelujah. You're not in tune with the spirit. That's Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Glory. If your church is teaching that you don't have to be holy mm -hmm. and that you don't have to be perfect, yes. if it's teaching you. That when you receive the spirit of God, yes, it yes. doesn't lead you into holiness. Uh -huh. You're a false teacher. Right. And, yeah. and that's a false church. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you people, that's the reason why this virus is in the land. And you need to run. Yes. You need to flee from that Hallelujah. false church. Amen. I don't care if your family is Hallelujah. born and raised. I don't care if your great, great grandfather founded that church. Yeah. I don't care what condition you're in. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. You're being Hallelujah. brought low. Oh, yeah. Amen. And I have hope because Yahweh brought me low yeah. to bring yeah. me this way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
That's right. Yes, and we got so much love for the people of the world because the Messiah said he so loved the world. Yes. Right. St. John 3, and you don't have to go there, 3 and 16, the verse everybody knows. Yeah, for God so knows. loved the world, Yahweh so loved the world. Yes. He gave his only begotten son uh -huh. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Amen. We got people dropping down dead. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. Every day. That's right. About a hundred years ago, he did the same thing with the flu. Yes. Right. Amen. All these diseases mutate. Right. Yes, sir. Yes. They get worse. Yes, they do. Amen. Mm -hmm. The plagues in the medieval times. Right. Yes. They say a lot of these diseases come from animals. But how did the animal get it? <laughs> Yahweh shaped that virus. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's right. Amen. He lets his wind blow at airborne right. to whomsoever he chooses. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, I'm telling you, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh's disciples, the disciples of the Messiah, Yahshua, lay their hands on the sick. That's right. And have absolutely no fear of contracting the illness. Yeah. Amen. 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 We're talking about the God who walked up, the who walked became a man and walked on water. Right. Yes, Lord. Right. Yes, Lord. Multiplied fish and bread. Yes. yes. And fed thousands. Yes. Amen. And that wasn't including everybody. Right. No. I believe that was just the men. Amen. That's the kind of God we're talking about. That's here. right. Amen. We're, the, we're talking about the Messiah who, uh, who, who just appeared in rooms. Oh, yeah. Out of nowhere. Yes. Amen. Amen. The one who ascended up to heaven yes. in Galilee. That's Amen. Right. Now, if you really believe in this God and you were taught by a true preacher, you wouldn't have fear of this disease. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, you may have to follow the rules. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. After I took that package from the lady, yes. uh, Yahweh spoke to me and said, you've proven that you believe. Right. right. I said, but you might have to follow all their rules. Right. right. Yeah, of course. So that you, uh, you know, it's just like obeying the law of the right. land. Right. <laughs> right. You don't want them to send you home where you can't work. Yeah. Right. We need to be wise because right. all they got to do is say, go home. Yeah, yeah. That's You're right. unruly. Right. Amen. Yes. Right. Of course. Right. You can't push the issue. Right. If they want you to wear a mask, put on a mask. Right. If they want you to wear gloves, wear gloves. Yeah. Yes. If they want you to keep ten feet, keep ten feet. Yeah. Amen. You gotta respect other people's choices. Yeah. Amen. That's right. But when we're among ourselves, yeah. us believers. Right. We're going to greet each other with holy kisses. Yes, sir. And we're going to embrace for a long time. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 But read on. And as it was in the days of Noah. As it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be also in the days of the son of man. Uh-huh. They did eat. They drank. Uh -huh. They married wives. Yes. They were given in marriage. Uh-huh. Now the day. <laughs> They, they, they were so they were given in marriage. I mean, like marriage was everything. All they were thinking about was getting married, getting right. married. Uh -huh. yes. There's people like that nowadays. Yeah. Yes, Whether they've already been married, they'll just divorce that one so they can get a new one and right. get married again. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. right. Amen. Yes, right. Like they were just eating and drinking. Uh -huh. Yeah. They weren't weren't thinking about the fact uh -huh. that it was God. Yes. Who gave them the food and drink? Right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was the Lord who blessed them. To even be wanted yeah. by someone to marry them. Yeah. Amen. How many marriages fail whenever somebody gets in an accident, becomes a paraplegic, and can't move their legs? Right. right. That man or that woman said, This is not what I signed up for. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes, Lord. How many rich people got married yeah. and lost all their money? Right. Uh, right. Yes. And then their spouse. Divorced them. Uh, yeah. Yes. Amen. I didn't want to marry a poor man. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 So these people were wrapped up in all the things they didn't need to be wrapped up in. Yes. Amen. And just like everybody else, 
in this world today who doesn't serve Yahweh, they're wrapped up in all the wrong things. Right. Hallelujah. Yes, what does it say? They did eat. They drank, they married wives, and uh -huh. were given in marriage. They were given in marriage? Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Uh huh. They and thought the everything came. was going to be fine. Yes. Oh, yeah. Until Noah entered into the ark. And the flood came. It's not like they didn't know. Right. Yeah. That was a big boat. <laughs> Amen. Yes. In the middle of nowhere, uh -huh. it had never rained. Right. <laughs> you know they went and looked at him. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's not like Noah didn't know anybody. Right, right. Mm -hmm. They would go talk to him. What are you doing? Uh -huh. Right. It says he was a preacher of righteousness. Yes. yes sir. It took 120 years. Yeah. 120 years. It took time for him to build that ark. Oh, yes. yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. I mean, men should have known something was going on. Oh, yes. yes. Just like men today, they they're gonna. Turn on it because we're all sharing. I hope you're sharing yeah. the Facebook stream. You've been sharing. People are jumping in. And right. in like one minute, they're jumping out. Right. You can see the numbers changing that fast. Yeah. Right. Amen. 34 viewers. Yeah. 35. Yeah. Amen. 34. Yes. Uh, jumping in, jumping out. Oh, that's them. Yeah. Right. right. Amen. So true. Won't even listen. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Won't even slow down. Oh, I don't like the way he looks. I don't like the way he talks. Right. right. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes, Yahweh. You need to know. That's right. Amen. Yes. Our address is on our Facebook page. Yes. Amen. Yes. This virus thing's gonna be over with. Yes. Mm-hmm. And if, 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 if the Messiah doesn't return right. and this whole thing is over with, yes. these doors are going to be open because we're not afraid. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. We're going to be open the second they say that we can open up yes. service. That's right. That's right. You need to run to this place. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ask and pray, Yahweh, that he will do even more than the coronavirus to you if that's what it takes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I don't want anybody to be sick. I don't want anybody to even hit their knee. Right. Right. I don't take, we don't take pleasure no. in no. people being in pain, no. No. suffering, no. being miserable in their lives. No. Our desire is that you would be brought to a mindset Amen. to where you would be able to receive this word right. and Hallelujah. realize Hallelujah. that the things that you love so much, like all those worldly movies uh -huh. that, that, that with all the cussing and the, 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 the sex, and Amen. the violence and all that, that, that those things have been a snare for you. Amen. And, and you knew when you read your Bible that God did not like those things and he was against those things. So you instantly decided I can't be part of that. The only church you could be part of is a false church. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where you just say you love the Lord. Yeah. Right. But you don't really. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you today, that's no way to live and you know it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This place will take racism away from you. That's right. Amen. Amen. I'm a white man, as you can clearly see. I'm su surrounded by mostly black people. Amen. We 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 have uh, white people here and 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 Hispanic people. Yeah. But when I first came to church, right. it was almost all black people. Yes. Right. Like I told you, I was born and raised racist. Yes, mm -hmm. Amen. I had to come in here and 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 look past yes. uh, flesh yes. right. and listen to the word yeah. and realize that that word was true. And then that word taught me how to love all men. Amen. I would have told you I wasn't racist. Right. But when the spirit went forth and broke it all the way down, I knew that I had a few things in me mm -hmm. that the devil tried to keep. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. But but I got the victory over those things. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. To the point to where whenever you realize that the Messiah himself was most likely a black man. Mm -hmm. Amen. If anything, a man of dark complexion. Right. right. Which I am not. Yes, sir. And I'm good with that. Amen. Yeah. Yes, Lord. I'm all right with that. Yes, Amen. I know he loves me. Yes. 
Right. That's nothing new. I've already met some black people who love me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. People who never looked at my color of skin. Who never held against me what my forefathers did to them. Yes, yeah. right. Amen. That's right. It's too much hatred. Yes, Lord. On both sides. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Everybody's got an excuse to hate. Right. Uh, yes. yes, Lord. I'm just glad it melts my heart to be around the people of God who've laid all that trash down. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And love me. Yes, sir. Unconditionally. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yahweh. Yes, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. 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 I give Yahweh the praise for that. Hallelujah. But read on. And they did do this iniquity until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Uh -huh. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, and they built. So he's moving right on from Noah to Lot. He's yeah. trying to let them know, yes. look, this is the kind of God that even you know, Pharisee. Amen. Pharisees were the kind of people who read their Bible all the right. time. Yeah. That's right. And even though they read their Bible all the time, they uh -huh. still didn't realize that yeah. their eyes were shut. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Their understanding was darkened. Yes, Lord. We got people who read the Bible all the time and still can't put two and two together yes. that hurricanes come from Yahweh. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Glory. God didn't do that. It was the <laughs> devil. <laughs> The devil can't do anything <clears throat> unless Yahweh permits. Yes. Right. Yes, Lord. Right. And in my, my Bible says the Lord rained, rained down fire from heaven. Yes. yes. Rained down fire and it, it, it didn't from take heaven. A, it didn't say to make you feel better. Yeah. The Lord was busy that day. <laughs> and when he had his head turned, old mean Satan. Rained down some fire from heaven and Yahweh cried because he was so sad he didn't stop him. We don't read that. Yeah. The scriptures take out time for him to say, I am Yahweh. I kill. I kill. I Yahweh kill. Amen. So anything that you see happening in this land, I authorized it. Yes, yeah, Lord. that's right. Hallelujah. I allowed it to happen. Amen. Yes, yes Lord. Because, because he's so much higher than us. Right. He knows when you love him. Yes. Mm -hmm. He knows whatever. And, and when you love Yahweh, it means you're, you're good. Oh, yes, yes, Lord Yahweh. Hey, there's no such thing as a person that's good that doesn't love Yahweh. Amen. Right. Impossible. Amen. Yahweh would never destroy a righteous person with the wicked. Amen. Mm -hmm. He doesn't do it. Right. Amen. Now, don't get me wrong. It's possible for a righteous person to die of a sickness. Oh, yeah. Amen. You got to die from something. Yeah. It's possible for Yahweh to give you a sickness and that's what you die from. Right. Yes. Because when you get old, right. it's hard for your body to fight off sicknesses. Amen. And, and, and an older person can get the flu and die. Yes. Yes. Amen. And if you get the flu and die and you're old, that doesn't mean you're wicked. Right. It just means it was your time to go. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're not walking upright, if you're not doing right and you die, you're wicked. Amen. And you're going to be lost. That's right. Because you died in your sins. The whole purpose of the Messiah come to the earth was that he might destroy the works of the devil in you. If you die in your sins, it was because you were wicked and you were refusing the Messiah's salvation. Amen. He gave you all the time you needed. He gave you all the resources to get yourself right. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you're if you are sick in the church and you feel like you're two steps from dying and you're always crying, don't lie and say it's because you got the tears of joy. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. 
You crying almost every time you talk because you're in sin. Right. Yes, Lord. And every day you get up and you crucify the Messiah afresh. Yes. Yes, sir. You, ain't, you don't have to be old to do that. We got young people doing that. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. I'm not afraid to broadcast this information to the whole world because yes. you already read the Bible. Yes. Anybody who's ever read the New Testament knows that everybody under Paul and Peter's ministry were not walking uprightly. That's right. That's right. And the whole point of the, the letters was, was to correct them. Amen. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. An honest hearted person yes, sir. can hear this message uh -huh. and realize, oh, there's hope. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, There's hope in that church. Amen. They have government. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, saints, don't get comfortable with that because it would be better if we were all walking upright. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Our light would be shining so much brighter. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Could you imagine if all of us had enough faith yes. to mm -hmm. heal? Amen. Right. Yes, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Man. Could you imagine that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Yahweh. Yes. But read. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven. Yes. And destroyed them all. Yes. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Uh-huh. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop uh -huh. and his stuff in the house. Let him not come down to take it away. See, this this revealing of the Messiah, it's, it can, it's going to come in stages. Amen. Amen. Whenever the Messiah was here... And he dealt in all the Gospels yes. about what was going to happen in the last days. Yes, sir. He told him that the temple in Jerusalem was going to be destroyed, and it was. Amen. Amen. He told him that certain things were going to happen, bad things, and he said these will be the beginning of sorrows. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 The, 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 the fact that vengeance came upon Jerusalem was a part of the Messiah's Coming upon them. Yes, sir. Amen. But he hasn't returned fully. He hasn't returned to get his church. Right. And this world will end. Yes, yeah. And the heavens and the earth are going to roll up like a scroll and it's all going to be over. Amen. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. All you people who think that the great tribulation is to come mm -hmm. and that's why you're so comfortable. Yeah. Thinking that the Messiah can't come back yet. You got yourself deceived walking in sin. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. You think you figured it out. Yes. Well, the Messiah can't come back because uh, my preacher said all these prophecies still have to come to pass. Uh -huh. Your preacher doesn't know diddly squat. Doesn't he? Right. Yes, Lord. These prophecies have come to pass. Yes. Yes. They're fulfilled in the church. Hallelujah. The hey. church is here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, see, my Bible said that this city is going to be like this and they're going to come and have war with this city and yes. this here and that there. And that hasn't happened yet, so I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Messiah's going to come and reign with us for a thousand years and that hasn't happened. <laughs> well, it's happened for us. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The Messiah's reigning with us right now. Yeah. Amen. Why do you think we're so happy? Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. And then, and then it said Satan's going to come out of the pit. He came out. <laughs> Amen. The false prophets, they, they went in the pit to come out of the pit. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. The mark of the beast hasn't come yet. Well, you got it all over you. Yeah. I see it. Amen. The Antichrist hasn't showed up. Yes, you have. <laughs> Amen. Are you willing to believe these truths? Yeah. No? <laughs> you think you got something better? Uh -huh. The word anti has two meanings. Yeah. It means against and it means another. Yeah. So which one is it do you want to say? Right. That you want to teach something against what he taught? Uh -huh. Or do you want to bring another something yeah. that you think is better than what he had? Amen. Which one? That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> What do you got? Yes, Amen. Yes, Which one of those do you want to choose? Yes. Amen. Amen. Deceiving the people. Yes. 
Yes. He is Lord. Church is full of sinners. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's why this coronavirus has come upon the land. That's right. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I, I'm ready. Jesus, Lord, come quickly. Really? Nobody's saying, Lord, come quick. Nobody's saying. Everybody's saying, I don't want to die. Right. Trump, it's your fault if I die. Yeah. <laughs> But he's scared to death of dying because you know you're not ready. Yeah. Not right. That's right. Your Amen. soul knows. Yeah. Amen. Like, a, like our beloved Apostle Washington preached last night. The soul knows you're not ready. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Lord. When he was in the airplane. Yeah. yeah. They were all cutting up. Amen. Yahweh told him, buckle up. I'm about to make this plane hit an air pocket. Yeah. yeah. When it hit that pocket, they dropped and they went, the, the, the plane dropped, they went up. Yeah. yeah. And if you've ever fallen full force with no control, you know it's very easy to injure yourself. Yeah, very. And there were many injured. Oh, yes. yes. Amen. Yes, Saints, today is the day. Amen. Amen. For us to see this coronavirus is for us to look at, too. Yes. Yes, yes, yes it is. Yes. Yes, Lord. Lord, you've been praying. Help me. Right? Mm -hmm. I pray that prayer. Yes, Amen. I pray that prayer daily. Yes. Right. Help me, Lord. In your all-knowing way. Yes. Amen. Right. Read on. And he that is in the field, uh -huh. let him likewise not return back. Mm -hmm. Remember Lot's wife? Uh -huh. Whosoever we shall seek to save his life shall lose it. See, some of us have turned back more than once. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Lot's wife turned back once, once and turned into a pillar of salt. Uh -huh. yes. What does that mean? You need to quit. <laughs> right. Was it real salt? You, you're not sincere. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Always trying to find fault. Right. right. Always. Yeah. Well, I just want to know. Well, you won't even keep what you do understand. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. All these fault finders. Amen. We got a bunch of Lot's wives in the church. Yeah. Right. Keep looking back yes, over and over again. Looking back. Looking back to Sodom. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. That's right. Amen. The people on this broadcast, this is what's going through my, their mind. Listen to that preacher saying these things about that congregation. Uh, Amen. They must have some wicked people in that congregation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that's what they're saying? Yeah. Yes. Right. Do you know how much more powerful this message would be? Yes. Amen. Amen. If we didn't have to say these things? Yes, that's right. right. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 For us to be able to say, I thank God that, it, that all the people that come to this church are doing right. Amen. Yes, Lord. They heard the word and they had true and sincere hearts and a true love for the Messiah. Amen. Right. Amen. But many of us are just, yes, you got our hands tied. Yes, Amen. Amen. Right. We want to be able to say these things. Yes, right. Amen. 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 But see, the Spirit had a lot of mercy on me over the years. Yes, yes Lord. And, it, and, and there were many times when I made bad decisions. Yes, Lord, Lord. Yahweh. And I, I didn't always make the right decision. So now I can have pity yeah. on people who don't make yes, good decisions. Amen. Right. Because of that. Amen. I, that's why I still have hope for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of all the times Yahweh had mercy on me. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise him. Go ahead and read. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall mm -hmm. lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Uh huh. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed. Mm -hmm. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Yes. Two women shall be grinding together. Mm -hmm. The one shall be taken and the other left. Yes. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. And now, they answer. Now I know that this coronavirus is not the end of the world. Yes. This is just one of the sorrows. Yes. Like Apostle Washington explained. Right. But we don't know when that end is coming. Right. Mm -hmm. And just like the end, this is one of those things that is serious yes. that makes you think about the end. Yes. Yes. Whenever the Bible says that people, when you take the communion, 
If you take it unworthily, you could die. So, so what that means is that the communion, taking the communion is like the end of the world. Mm-hmm. Meaning that at the end of the world, you're going to have to take part in that. Yeah. Amen. Just like if you come to communion you, and you take part of that, but you're not right. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. See, the end of the world is like a communion that you have to take. Right. Yeah. The, the communion that we do with the bread and the wine, which yeah. which signifies the Messiah's body and his blood, is something that you can say, well, I'm not taking it because I haven't been walking right because I heard the scripture and the scripture says you could die if you take it unworthily. Yeah. Well, you don't have that option. No, no. Yeah, you don't have that option with the coronavirus. Right. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't have that option, people. Amen. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the coronavirus is enough to scare you, to get you on a track to do what's right to do, then hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Right. But going back, let's go over to Galatians. Let me see. Going back to the people of Yahweh. Our message is primarily to them. Amen. Amen. We can tell the people in the world what they can do to be saved. Amen. And that is a very important part. And this Galatians 6. Amen. And 7, but don't start yet. Uh, We're going to tell you sinful people the same thing that we were told to do that if you want to get serious about salvation you need to be in the true church the only way you can be in the true church is to hear the gospel which you're hearing right now amen amen yes lord acknowledge that it's true amen and turn from your sins the things that you're hearing that now you're convinced now that you've heard the word right That those things are sinful and that you turn from those sins and that you become and what you do is you be baptized in the name of Yeshua Messiah. We will baptize you. Amen. And you'll be filled with the Holy Ghost and you'll continue steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and you'll get stronger and stronger and stronger and be made more and more perfect. And you will be perfect on your last day. Hallelujah. You'll be ready. That's right. You'll be perfect. As you're being perfected. Yes, Amen. Man. Because you're being obedient. Yes, yes, man. Yes, Believing. A believer. Yes. Man. We are saved by grace. And we're saved by faith in the Messiah, Yeshua. But though all that grace and that faith produces fruits unto holiness. Yes. Amen. And righteousness. Yes. And you will have those fruits. And then you won't be afraid of dying. Yes. Hallelujah. That's right. You can live a life. Don't you know you can live a life where you're not afraid of dying? Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Nobody Amen. wants to die because we don't like pain. Right. True. But but I'm, I'm walking in a way right now where if I have to die for the Messiah, I'm going to die. Amen. Right, Lord. And we have to get to that point. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. I'm not going to deny him so I can live. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. I'm not going to walk in a way where I know I'm a sinner. Amen. And always afraid. Yes. Right. Of getting in a car accident. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Always afraid of getting mugged and shot. Uh-huh. Right. Hallelujah. Because that's that's not in my my interest. Amen. That's not good for me, my soul. Amen. That's not good for me to live like that no. in fear every day, no. knowing I'm not right. Right. Amen. Amen. I have people tell me all the time how young I look, and they can't believe I'm 43. Yes, sir. Right. Now, that's because I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a partaker of Apostle Washington's grace. Yeah, amen. Yes, sir. When we look at him, yes, he's 59, about to be 60 years old. Now, I, I'm not saying, like, okay, with me. To me, I look 43, yes, but I look like a very good 43. Right. Right. Yeah. To me, Apostle Washington looks like a very 
healthy 59 year old. He looks young. Amen. It's not that he doesn't look his age because we you don't have to. Well, oh, you look you look 49. Well, some people would say that. Yes, yeah, true. But even though like to me, he because I've seen him when he was real young. So I do think he looks 59. I think I look 53, but we look healthy because of the decisions that we've made. And those of us, those that are like us, that have Amen. made up their mind. This church is full of many people who look look so healthy and vibrant and full of life. Amen. Because they've made the choice to not live in worry, live in fear. Hallelujah. Live that self-destructive life of drug addiction and, Amen. and, and drunkenness and always uh, in, overindulging in everything, uh, trying to and party and stay out late all night, Amen. living that sinful life, yeah, and it's right. preserved us. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Praise yes, Yahweh. Lord. Don't you want that life? Right. Amen. I would probably have a lot of missing teeth right now. And I might have been a, a, a meth head or a crackhead because people who start out drinking and smoking cigarettes move up to weed, which move up to stronger stuff, to stronger stuff, to stronger stuff. Mm -hmm. right. You know, like cocaine, crack, yeah. meth. Yes. And they keep on going up and it, yes. and it destroys them. That's right. Amen. And you may not be in those bad shoes, but there are other things in your life that you're doing that's destroying you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Always cheating people. Right. Yes. It's coming back on you. Amen. Right. The Apostle Washington went to that scripture and said, Woe unto you that spoil. When you're done spoiling, you're going to be spoiled. Right. Yes, right. yes, Lord. You may be doing fine for a while, but it's all going to catch up on you in the yes, end. It will. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. We'll come and get you. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But saints, let, let, let's, let's read right here. What does it say in uh, uh, Galatians 6 and 7? What does it say? Be not deceived. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. Yes, Lord. Read. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Saints, listeners, people that are listening in for the first time, God's not mocked. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. Yes. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. It's time to change your ways. Yes. Saints, it's time to, to change the way you do things. Praise Yahweh. We gotta, we gotta do, we gotta do what we've been taught. It's so easy for us to overlook what we've been taught. Amen. Read on. But he that soweth to the flesh uh -huh. shall of the flesh reap corruption. Read. But he that soweth to the spirit shall the spirit reap life everlasting. Uh-huh. And let us not be weary in well doing. Let's not be weary. In well doing. Yes. See, I'm not weary in this. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember Hallelujah. whenever I was 20 years old when I first came in this way. Mm -hmm. I was weary doing this thing. Yeah. It wore me out. <laughs> when I first came here, I wasn't used to the way of holiness. I was lazy. Right. We were helping people move two or three times a week. Oh, yes, Lord. <laughs> we were doing raising funds every, every weekend. Amen. Oh, Staying up late. Hallelujah. We had service back then at 8 o'clock at night. Now we start at 7. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there was no telling when the Spirit got on the preacher. Yeah. We might be done at 11, midnight. Yeah. Right. Because it was needed. Yeah. We had a lot of evil spirits in us. And the Spirit to, did what it had to do. Right. Amen. To, 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 see, I had a lot of time in the world. I had 20 years in the world. I need... The, the spirit of Yahweh needed to make up for all that time to do something extreme in my life. Amen. To snap me out of the way I was. Hallelujah. And get me out of my old ways. Amen. So this, even though the preacher was fine and had their mind fully made up to serve Yahweh. And there's a lot of weak people in here. See, if, if, if we strong were to die out, y'all would go straight back into the world. Y'all yeah. need us to keep going on. And you'll Amen. admit it. You'll say, don't let leave. I need you. Yeah. I need you, Apostle Washington. I need you, bishops. Yeah. Yeah. If we were to give up, you would give up. Yeah. Because you, you need us. Yeah. Amen. But there's going to come a time if you keep listening to us, if you keep hearkening to your leaders, there's going to become a time where you're going to be the pillars in the church. Amen. You'll get yourself strengthened up to the point to where when the devil says leave, 
You don't say, yeah, that's a good idea. You've got to get to that point where, you, where the devil can say leave and you'll say, there is no way yeah. I will ever leave the faith. Yeah. Amen. No way. Get to that point where you're doing right when there's nobody around. Hallelujah. That's right. Praise Yahweh. Read on. And let us not be weary in well-doing. Let's not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, in due season, we saints, shall reap. We are yeah. going to reap. We saints, it's a promise to us. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to reap eternal life. Amen. But because you can't see it, right? Those of you who don't walk by faith, mm -hmm. yes, you got to start. You got to walk by faith. Amen. Don't wait till you get the feeling, because you're never going to feel like doing this thing. No. Yeah. No. Nope. You lazy people. Uh, you'll get out of your chair if you hear that rattlesnakes rattle. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Amen. Because of fear. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. So let this fear of this virus help you. Yeah. Amen. Don't right. feel like a fake and a phony because you're using that fear to get up out of your seat and uh, save yourself. Right. Amen. Yes, Lord. Realize that's what it's going to take. Uh -huh. Amen. And whenever that fear wears off, the love will kick in. Oh, yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Read. For in due season, uh -huh. we shall reap if we faint not. Yes. As we have therefore opportunity. As we have therefore opportunity. Let us do good unto all men. Let's do good unto all men. Especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Especially unto them that are of the household of faith. I had something happen to me that I wanted to share with y'all. I want to make y'all think. Uh, whenever I sent out that announcement on Marco Polo. About, uh, you know, they're hiring at my job. Well, I got some resumes. And as I was opening up these resumes to give to my boss. Uh, oh, okay. Here's brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so. So -so. I'm like, who's this? People started sending me resumes of people that don't even go to church here. Mm -hmm. Family members. Yeah. And then. One even sent a resume of someone who had left the faith because yes. they didn't want to serve the Lord. Right. Amen. And in my heart, I was like, why are they sending me people that I can't vouch for? Right. right. Amen. Why? Yes. Now, it's not my intention to hurt feelings. Right. right. How many times have you come to the faith? And the spirit had to open up your understanding right. on the thing. Yes, Lord. It's not about hurting feelings. No. Mm -mm. no. So I'm I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't really want to hand these to my boss. I I don't really. These people aren't going to represent holiness. That's right. Right. I can't vouch for these people. Amen. So I'm a little tore up in two. Look what y'all put me through. Mm -hmm. Right. Sometimes you saints put us in positions where we have to wrestle because Amen. we love you. Yeah, right. We want to help you. Yeah. Yes. We would do anything for you. Yeah, of course. But we also have to listen to the, what the, the whole Holy Spirit yes. is leading us to do. And Amen. The Spirit speaks if you'll slow down and listen. Yeah. Right. It'll, if you slow down and listen. The scripture says, it has, we, as we therefore have opportunity, let us do good unto all men, unto all men, especially, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. See, when I made that Marco Polo, I thought it was clear yes. and understood the that I was talking about putting in a good word for saints, yes, Lord. not ex-saints. Right. Amen. And I love the person who gave me their resume. The Bible also says don't strengthen the hand of evildoers. Too. Right. That's right. That's true. If we're always trying to make a way for people who've rejected the faith. See Yahweh. Yes. There's a time and a season for all things. Amen. You have to be in tune with the spirit. Yes. Yes, Lord. And I'm not saying that there's not a time that you may do. The spirit may lead you to do something for somebody who left the faith. Right. But for the most part. We're supposed to let them suffer mm -hmm. and let Yahweh do with them what he's trying to do Amen. to make them realize that Yahweh is against them. Yeah. Amen. I know y'all think we sound like a cult. Mm -hmm. right. We don't care Amen. what you think. I don't right. care what cussers and liars and right. sinners think. Yeah. Amen. I care about what. 
the word of God has to say. Amen. I care about what the holy scriptures written by holy people have to say. Yes, Lord. I care about what Apostle Washington has to say and the counsel and advice that he gives. Amen. So I'm wrestling. What should I do? What should I do? Well, I thank God that we have. I have somebody who's been in the faith a lot longer than me. Amen. And whom Yahweh speaks to directly. I was able to seek counsel. Amen. When I called him up, he didn't answer the first time because he was too busy from another bishop calling him up seeking counsel. Amen. This thing is good. Hallelujah. Yeah. But I just want y'all to know sometimes saints, we, even us that have been in this way for quite some time, we don't really hear the word. Amen. Whenever I was talking earlier about sitting around, Apostle Washington can give that same testimony about sitting around and weeping while he looked at the picture of his sisters. Yes. And up in the saints just don't get it. Right. right. That's right. They Amen. just don't get it. Hallelujah. There was a time whenever um, people who used to be part of this way were always inquiring, trying to find out what's going on in the church. Uh, Amen. And Apostle Washington told us to say, come and see. Right. right. Well, there was a situation. I've, 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 I've strived to be the kind of person who will do what the Spirit says to do. Yes. I failed him, but, but I've, I've strived. Amen. Right. To, to be the kind of person who hears what the Spirit says and no matter how uncomfortable it may make you feel. Because obeying Yahweh can sometimes get you slapped. Yes, Lord. Yeah. It can get you hated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was a time where a brother and a sister who weren't walking uprightly, they were uh, the husband and wife, they were going at it in front of everybody and all their family members started circling around them in the apartment complex. And I don't know how I was there, but I was there. And somehow, some way, they started turning to me and asking me questions about what was going on in the church. Yeah, I turned around to them and I said, come and see. And you wanted to see some angry folks Yeah. when I said, come and see. Yeah. They looked like they were ready to lynch me. <laughs> hey, I'm not past uh, being afraid and, and my... I, where I'm ready to to make like Hussein Bolt. <laughs> I was about to get out of Dodge. Yes. Because I'm not going to let. I'm going to do what the Messiah told us to do. Amen. Flee into another city if they persecute you in one. Hallelujah. <laughs> but I, 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 would rather, I would rather get beat down and killed and stoned like Stephen than deny Yahweh. Because at least I know I was obedient when I died. Amen. 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 But saints, we don't we don't really hear in here. Right. Yes. It's slowing our growth down. Yes. That's right. Amen. We're still holding on to our loved ones that have left the faith. Yeah. Yes. We're That's still right. trying to do stuff for them. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, like I said, there may be a time and a season, but the thing is, you don't want to put someone else in a position where they are going to vouch for that person. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right. I want saints. Amen. Yeah. That's who I said I wanted to vouch for. Amen. Saints. Hallelujah. And I believe Yahweh spoke to me and said, because I had, while I was meditating on these things, I had turned in two of those people's resumes who were family members of saints. Yeah. And Yahweh said, this is of me. If they come and they get this job, it's going to be a last chance for them. Yes, Amen. Amen. Because our family members have been in this church. Yes. Amen. They visited. Oh, yes. They've been around us. Yes. Right. They've asked us many questions. Right. They know what we're all about. Amen. You don't think Yahweh has something in store for them? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Of course. Amen. They're a close cousin to a backslider. Yes. Yeah. Right. A person who's actually been in the faith. Been baptized in the name of Yeshua Messiah, received the Holy Ghost, yes. and then left the church? Yes. That's a backslider. Amen. Yes. A family member that you've been witnessing to for 20 years? Yes. There's only a little bit of a difference between the two. Right. Right. Amen. I'm scared for our family members. Yes. Hallelujah. I can see them getting the coronavirus. Yes. Right. 
<laughs> my mom and I love her with all my heart. I come home and she said something about, you know, the virus and stuff. And, and I just had to lift up a standard and say, I'm not afraid of the virus. Amen. She said, well, don't bring it home to me. I said, well, I guess I'll have to move out into an apartment if that's the case. Right. Or, or I'll uh, have to get a hotel room. Right. Yes. I said, but if you get the coronavirus, it's not going to be for me. Yeah. It's not going to be because of me. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. I upset her. Yeah. Right. She left the room and wouldn't talk to me. Amen. That's the price yes. that we believers in the Messiah right. have to be willing to pay. Because yes. you, you honestly think that they're not going to get upset with us when oh, yeah. we lift up a standard? Right. You think they're always going to be understanding? Mm -hmm. no. no. More than likely, when you lift up a standard, they're going to see you wrong. Yes. yes. Amen. 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 That's right. so true. That's right. They're going to try to make you feel bad about what you did. Yes, sir. Amen. Sometimes lifting up a standard for righteousness means you look bad. Uh -huh. Amen. You don't look like a good person. Right. 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 Amen. Amen. The Messiah didn't look good no. whenever he told that person, don't go bury your father. No. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. It, didn't, it doesn't even sound good to me right. when no. I read it. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me first go bury my father. Yeah. Let the dead bury, bury the, the dead. dead. You yes, follow right. me. <laughs> yes, According to the 2020 yeah. modern day standards, that sounds pretty mean. Yeah. A little inconsiderate. Yes. Amen. He said a whole lot of stuff like that. Yeah. Whenever that Gentile woman came and said, you know, she wanted to be uh, healed, or and, and he said, it's not it's not fit to to give the children's food to dogs. Yeah. That sounds politically incorrect. <laughs> that don't sound right. right. Amen. Amen. You know, the Messiah said that. Amen. Hallelujah. But he was the Messiah, so it had to be right. <laughs> it, had to be right. <laughs> it had to be right. We Amen. don't have to understand it. That's right. So whenever we, st we bishops, we apostles, Apostle Washington is going to tell you to do stuff. And, and boy, you don't seem like, and I'm going to say the same stuff as him. All the other bishops, we're going to say the same thing. Yeah, man. Amen. Sometimes when we don't understand it, we still speak it until we get an understanding. Yeah, Yahweh Amen. says, I'll reward you if you just do it. Hallelujah. I'll open up your understanding later. Yeah. Later, after we've obeyed, our understanding comes open. Now That's we're just right. like Apostle Washington, hurting people's feelings. Amen. But for a good cause. Hallelujah. For a good cause, saints. Yeah. Amen. I gave this example. Yes. Amen. Amen. Besides, what what what's it going to be like if I hand in those resumes and they get the job and the saints don't? Right. Amen. Because they took out more time on their resume. Right. 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 Amen. Yes, Lord. I want saints on my job with me. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Yes, Yahweh. They could have barely got through high school just like me. But they're going to be the 200% hardest workers. Yeah. Amen. I don't want anybody up there that I can't vouch for. Amen. But at the exact same time, if they get hired, then it was of Yahweh. Because right. that's what he said. This was of me. Amen. He let it be in my life so Amen. he can test me and try me and see what I was going to do. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm getting shaped and molded every day. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm going slow because I want you to think. Amen. Let this soak in. Yes. Amen. If you don't have to live with your sin or family, and there's a better way. Yeah. Right. Take the better way. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know who I'm talking to. Amen. Right. You. Always got sinners. Always got sinful backsliding family members at your house all the time. All the time. Yeah. I'm talking to you. Yes, yes, Lord. You're the weakest one in the church. Amen. Right. It hurts me to say that. I don't want to say that. Right. Amen. But for 23 years, I've looked around and watched the weakest people be the ones surrounded by their families. Right. Their sinner families. Right. Somehow, some way, it's in your best interest to live with your family member. And they're a bad influence on you. Yes. 
And you'll go around and you'll loosen your lip and you'll talk about how you agree with your sinful family member more than you do the saints. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been living with my mom for years, but she hasn't changed me. No. Yeah. Amen. There's a time and a season. Yes. Amen. But there's going to come a time that me and my wife are going to be on our own. Yes. Why? Because I want to take in saints. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to be free yes. Yes. to fully operate in everything that the Spirit wants us to do. Amen. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Taking in people. Yes. Oh, yeah. well, people might have lice. Right. Mm -hmm. People might have bring bed bugs. Right. Yes, we'll have our house uh, ready for stuff like that. Right. Right. Amen. We'll have the bare minimum in our house. So if we got to clean up bed bugs, we got to clean up lice, we got to clean up fleas. Yes. Take in homeless people, they might bring some fleas. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. But we don't care about this natural life. No. We care about saving souls. souls. Hallelujah. That's right. I can't take a homeless person home right now. Right. It's not my house. Amen. And all of you, saints, y'all are dependent upon sinners. Yes, sir. It'd be better if you're living with saints. Yes. Right. Amen. That's right. At least you know saints care about you. Yes. Amen. Amen. And then it's not, they're not going to be abusing you. Maybe they'll pay you. And maybe they'll help you this month. But they won't help you next month. Right. Mm -hmm. You won't have to be dealing with people committing fornication on your roof. Right. right. You won't have to deal with people smoking weed in, in your house. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. People smoking cigarettes right outside of your front door. Right. Amen. You want to put up that sign that says we serve Yahweh and yes. Yahshua. But you can't because you got that. Person living in your house smoking cigarettes in the front of your house. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Always trashing up your house, making it all dirty because they don't care. Yeah. Right. When you don't have Yahweh in your life, people don't care. That's right. right. They don't Amen. Care. No. That's right. Amen. And it's bringing you down. Hallelujah. Yeah. Just like you saints that have pets. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You can't keep your house clean. Yeah. Man. You might not be able to keep it clean if you didn't have pets. Right. We need to start being. Start being honest about what we really are and quit blaming everything on everybody else. Amen. If you're a dirty mess of a person, then that's just what you are. Yeah. And you have today to do something about it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Whenever I first came to church, I would throw all my dirty clothes in my garage until it became a mountain and it became overwhelming. That's right. I used to stack up all my dishes in the sink until all the dishes were in the sink and I just didn't have a spoon Amen. or a bowl. But I would come to church, right. the spirit would get right on it Amen. and say, some people are so dirty yeah. and deal right with my problem. Amen. And then I couldn't even feel good. Right. That's what happens when you have a conscience. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what happens when you care yeah. about what Yahweh has to say about That's your right. life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. But if you can come in here. And know what you're doing wrong, and somehow psych yourself out and blame it on everybody else. Yes, yes Lord. Your eye is not single. Yes. No. Amen. Or else your whole body would be full of light. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How great is that darkness? The Spirit said. Yes. Amen. Yes, right. the Spirit doesn't want you like this. The Spirit right. wants you to be freed from Satan. Hallelujah. Amen. He's the Father of all lies. Yeah. And he knows exactly where to plant those lies to ruin your life. Amen. Yes, it does. We have certain people in church who feel like they're the least in the church. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's because of their own choices. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. It all comes back to slothfulness. Amen. Saints, let's make a change. Amen. Let's make a change today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we have therefore opportunity. Yes, Lord, let us do good. Let us do good men. unto all men. Especially. Especially. Unto them who are of the household of faith. The only way that we're going to be able to do that, saints, is if we lay aside every weight and that sin which does so easily beset us and start doing everything that we've been taught. Amen. Strive with me yes, as I go in that direction with you. Amen. We'll do it together. Hallelujah. And there's strength in our numbers. In the name of Yeshua Messiah, thank you always for the words that came forth tonight. Um, we'll give you more instructions, uh, but I believe we're still having uh, uh, tomorrow's Sunday. Yes. So we Amen. may very well be doing it just like we did last Sunday. Amen. Nobody said anything different. 
Amen. And so I believe service, uh, and, uh, we'll, we'll find out more on Marco Polo, but just to remind you, yeah. it was pray at 10. Right. 1030, the word starts. And then, of course, there will be, I believe, two preachers. That Amen. may change. But everybody be up. Right. Hallelujah. Attentive. Yes, Lord, Yahweh. Attentive to the word. Yes. We thank Yahweh for all things. Yahweh bless you, my wonderful brothers and sisters. Yahweh bless y'all in Yahshua's name. We thank Yahweh for you uh, uh, viewers looking in. Uh, look up on our website. Get our address. The phone numbers for the pastors. We'll answer any questions you have. Amen. Yahweh bless in Yahshua's name. Amen. Amen.